Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Today we're going to be repotting our Weeping Willow Bonsai. It's been in this pot for a year and the roots have filled the container underneath. It's uh, in a bad need of repotting, so let's get to it. Underneath the bonsai pot is a tub of water that constantly feeds the tree with fertilizer and water keeps the tree really healthy all year round. So we're going to remove it, remove the tub of water from underneath the pot and uh, we'll see what kind of roots we have growing in the water. I think there's a lot. You can see them at the front here. So let's try and get the tree or the pot out. So, there we go. We'll just set it. Wow. So. Here's, here's inside the root ball. So the roots are going out of the drainage holes and into the bottom. But they're not too thick. Yeah, so the roots that are growing underneath, they're just thin roots growing out the drainage holes. Not very thick. So that's no problem. So we'll cut these off first. So I'm just going to come in here with the scissors and trim those roots off. There we go, getting there. These ones up here. And some down here. And there we go, we've got our mat of roots separated. So we'll just throw those away. And we'll get our tree back. We'll get rid of our pot of water. Put that behind here, we'll drain it. Get some fresh water and fertilizer in there. So the next step is to get the tree out of the pot. And I don't have my tool. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch out, kitty. Watch out. So we're going to just go around the edge with our spatula. You can use anything for this. You can use an old butter knife. Whatever you have around. Let's get the tree out. We go. We'll take our pot away. Put it behind us. There. And let's look at the roots. Well, they're pretty dense in here. Certainly needs repotting. So, and root pruning. So let's start. We'll uh, start raking our roots again from the top, combing outwards. That's really good soil. It's nice and crumbly still. When you have a container of water under a willow tree like this, I'm always worried that the roots will just grow in the water and nothing will grow up in the soil. But it doesn't seem to be the case. It, uh, as you can see, it filled the soil really nicely. And the roots that were growing in the water underneath the pot we're just fine roots, so I think we're okay that way. We're not gonna, you know, have no roots in the soil and all the roots in the water. It seems to be working out well, so we'll continue using our pot of water underneath the tree, all in an effort to get a nice flare at the base of this tree and a nice root spread. So eventually we can show off our surface roots. So all these roots that we're tearing through here are roots that cross our radial roots. So they're not, you know, it's not that important that we're ripping them. As long as we have our radial roots intact, we're in good shape. I'm going to turn the tree over and start on the bottom now. Whoa, it's a dense root mass on the bottom. We have a lot of roots in the perimeter here that are wrapping around. They've encircled the pot. I can see some here that are really long. So I think we're going to cut off the perimeter first. So let's try doing that. Um, 
This may get a lot of those encircling roots off and we can probably comb out the bottom of the root ball a lot easier. And these roots we want to trim back anyway, so. Yeah, you can see there's kind of a perimeter mat there. I think once we cut that away, it'll be quite easy to comb. We are getting some thick roots in here. And our drainage screen is just full of roots. We're gonna have to cut through that. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's start combing again. See what we can do here. Certainly tangled, eh? But the interior of the root ball isn't too bad. It's you know, that mat of roots doesn't continue throughout the soil, mainly on the perimeters. I think we're going to have to cut off this mat from the bottom here, too. It's just really hard to rake through that stuff. It's like a, yeah, a thin layer of roots that are just really matted together. I think, you know, once we've got all that matted stuff removed, raking should be a lot easier now. Yeah, we're getting a lot of the old soil out. Still not real easy, but it's better. Not impossible. I finished combing out the roots in the bottom. So I've washed the roots. And I'm just combing them again, getting out at any of the tangles. There we go. And now we can start the root pruning process. I'm looking at the roots. We have a lot of roots that are coming out of the trunk that are a little high. We could prune some of them away and we have more radial roots underneath. So I think we'll do that. We'll just snip away some of these top roots. And that'll happen if you have the tree, you know, a little deeper in the pot than your final design. You'll grow roots everywhere out of whatever is contacting the soil and water. So we're just going to go around the tree and kind of get our roots back to our one root plane system instead of having a you know a lot of multiple surface roots that are duplicated so there's a lot here on the inside we can remove from up here this will expose our flare at the base of the tree more because the tree won't be planted so deep in the pot and we'll start to see some of that, yeah, nice trunk flare. If all goes well, this should be a good year for this tree. We're going to train all our new growth to weep. We've kind of built a pretty good upright structure on the tree. So now it's time to finally make our weeping willow look like a weeping willow. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. All right, we'll give it another comb and another wash. I'm just going to get rid of some of these really long roots here. Get rid of some of these roots that are going, going down. Make it a little easier to wash the roots and comb them out. There we go. So next I've got a big thick root coming out the bottom. I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to get the bottom of a root plane flat again. Cut through a lot of these roots growing downwards.
after much cutting, raking, and washing, we've got our tree ready for planting. And you can see the flare that's developing. Some of our surface roots are thickening up. We still do have a lot of fine roots. Let's remove some of these ones. But slowly over the years, they'll start to thicken up. I think that'll do. Okay, let's uh, plant our tree. It'll be very exciting. So first we want to build up a kind of a mound of soil in the pot that we can put the tree on and adjust the height of it and the angle and everything like that. So let's do that. I've got my drainage screens in the pot. I also have the front of the pot picked. It's the nicest side of the pot. You just go around the pot and you look for you know, any defects or anything. This is just a plastic training pot. I shouldn't say just, it, it is a plastic training pot. So, but you still want to pick the best side. So here's our tree. You see the root ball fits in the pot really nicely. There's room to spare to grow the roots. And we have to pick an angle for the tree. You know, whether we want it more upright, more of a slanting style tree, or just keep it the way it is. And I think because we've, you know, established our root plane the way it is, we'll just leave it the same angle it is. We'll put the pot or the tree slightly to the this side to counteract the, you know, the all the foliage masses on the side of the tree. So it'll counteract that a little bit, and then. We want the height of the tree in the pot, which looks pretty good there. We're just exposing a bit of the bowl of the tree, the base there. And then the slant of the tree. Maybe we'll come forward just a little bit. Like about there, I think. We'll try that and we'll see how it looks. I'm. Uh, before we put the soil in, I'll just make sure all the roots are combed out and not tangled. Yeah, they look pretty good. So we'll start filling it in. And before we get too much soil in, we'll start working it into the roots. So we'll kind of do it in stages. Because the roots in the willow are so fine, we've got to make sure all the soil gets in between all the roots. So we don't have air pockets. Which will make the tree unstable in the pot. If we didn't comb our roots out, the roots would just be this thick mat and you wouldn't get fresh soil in between the roots. And I don't think it'd be as healthy for the tree. So in the long run, I think combing your roots out and sorting out the tangles and getting rid of the matted parts will be more healthy for your tree in the end. So as I'm working this soil into the roots, the soil level goes down, surrounds all the roots, Looks like the sun's starting to come out today. It's kind of nice again. Yeah, so see the tree's stable in the pot now. So we can add some more soil. We want our soil level just below the lip of the pot. So we'll continue working that in. 
I'm just looking at the tree from the distance, checking out uh, you know our potting position. Everything's looking okay. I uh, yeah, it's looking good. I think. I don't see anything that we need to adjust. I think the angle's good. Everything's looking okay. Okay, well, let's water the tree. There we go. So there's our tree planted and watered. I'm really liking the flare at the base of the tree. That's looking good. So this kind of shows the importance of getting those radial roots sorted out. You know, this was just a stick in the pot at one time. And now it's starting to flare out like a mature tree which is really nice. I'm hoping to get a branch kind of coming off here at some time. This tree was kept indoors in my basement for the winter. It's a cold basement. And it did start to come out with uh, leaves in the basement, kind of uh, late winter. And you kind of have to decide what you're gonna do with that. Um, there's so much spring ahead and so many frosts ahead that I don't want to be bringing the tree in and out every time it's going to go below zero to protect the new buds coming out. So I just put the tree outside and the leaves die off. You can see a few here. And hopefully it won't kill off any of the fine branches. It doesn't seem to. There seems to be green buds coming out. So you may get a little tiny die back at the tips. Maybe here, but uh, actually right here. You'll get a little die back, but not a whole lot, hopefully. So that's it for today. We've got our weeping willow repotted. We'll get the tree back in its pot of water underneath. And we'll put some stones around the surface, put it back on the bench in full sun, and uh, we'll check in on it when it needs pruning, and we'll try and get our weeping growth on it this year. Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.